Hey, what's up guys? This is Pizzix64 here, and I'm going to be doing two things. One, talking about Undertaker returning at a house show in 2013, um, and the other one I'm going to be doing, the Black Ops symbol. As, as you can see, I'm not that great at making symbols, but you know what? It's, it's This symbol is not really that hard to make, the Undertaker symbol. Um... But anyways, while I'm doing the symbol here, and maybe you can copy it, or maybe you can come up with something of your own. Um, Undertaker returned uh, on February 23rd, 2012, at a house show in Waco, Texas. Um, and he was supposed to face off against Damian Sandow and Wade Barrett. He teamed up with Sheamus. Um, I couldn't really see the match itself, um, this is more of a test to see if he can, like, go at, uh, at WrestleMania. Now, some people say, oh, this ruined the surprise of The Undertaker come back for Raw. Well, you know what? What are you, if you, I mean, it kind of does, yeah, I, I see where they're coming from. But at the same time, you kind of want to know at least a month or two ahead of time that if Undertaker can wrestle against and you gotta think about it if he is going against CM Punk at Wrestlemania wouldn't you want him to go against someone similar in size um or similar in fighting style so maybe that's why he went up against Sandow and maybe just to see uh what if he can go because CM Punk is a smaller, agile guy, kind of like Sandow is a more agile guy. So I, I could see where they're going there. And, you know, honestly, Undertaker is probably the reason why I order WrestleMania every year. I mean, I was thinking about not even ordering it this year, because th this WrestleMania is just, ugh. Right now, it's, I, I just don't feel excited. Like, WrestleMania 28 last year was just so epic. And 29, the top tw 29, unless Brock Lesnar and Triple H do something, or Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, or Taker, Cena, CM Punk, Cena, or, yeah, CM Punk, Cena, Rock. I mean, I, I, I don't know, guys. I just, I'm glad that The Undertaker's back, because he's my all-time favorite wrestler. Most of you guys know that. Most of you guys know that, uh, he is, I'm the biggest Undertaker fan in the YWC and all of YouTube. Um, I can guarantee that I've been a Taker my whole life. Uh, and like I said, it's like one of the only reasons why I order WrestleMania every year. And without it, I mean, I was going to order, but his Jack Swagger, his new gimmick, I love it. Even though I'm black, I'm black and he has a redneck gimmick. So, I should be offended by his gimmick, but I just like it because it, it, it's realistic. It's a real gimmick. It feels real to me. It's not like a cartoon made-up gimmick like John Cena's. And... But I was thinking to myself, is Jack Swagger really worth $65? Now, I am a Del Rio fan, by the way. He's my second... Well, he is my favorite wrestler. Uh, Ryback is my other favorite. And then Cesaro is third and i was thinking to myself is that really worth 70 dollars just jack swagger and then i was like you know what undertaker's coming back no one believed me either everyone was like oh undertaker's not coming back my sister just did not believe me and then boom house show last night and i almost had a legit orgasm because i was like oh my god he's back yay and you know it's just it just Undertaker CM Punk couldn't it be a good match oh heck yeah any under, Undertaker can make a five star match out of just about anyone really come on he had Shawn Michaels Triple H I mean his match was with Edge was great his match with Bits was great his match with Randy Orton was great I mean CM Punk could easily like, be just as good, if not maybe the best match he ever has. I don't know. 
But I think the problem with going against CM Punk over Cena, in my opinion, is the size. Like CM Punk's like what six two, two hundred fifteen pounds. Going against a six, wow, he's probably not six two anymore. Like six eight, two hundred and ninety pound. Six dog, six eight, two hundred ninety pound guy. It just it. I know there's an age difference, but it just doesn't feel. That'd be kind of cool if they do like a straight edge society versus uh, Minister of Darkness. If they brought it back, maybe the Shield could be the Minister of Darkness. Maybe Undertaker could be. Um, believe that'd be kind of cool, but I don't think they'd do that in the PG era. I mean, if WWE is very creative, that'd be kind of cool. Or maybe come up with his own corporate ministry. You know. Um. That'd be really awesome, so. Um. But guys. I really don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm going to tune in to Raw Monday. And yeah. So, um, that's it for me, guys. I'm Pissnik64, and here's to the rest of the video. I'm out. Peace.